Okay, so I had a video uh, a moment ago, and this is part two on how to make a COVID-19 air mask from home items. Now charcoal, you, you want the natural stuff. Uh, basically, either collect it from a fire that you made, or you build a mound around a fire and cap it off to make it into charcoal when you're done. With burn restrictions uh, in my area, uh, I had to scavenge for some old charcoal. Um, but I did have a little bit, and this is what I've got. Now, in the earlier part of this video, with the spoon and the ice melt, which is hard to get in the south in the spring. Um, and uh, you can also get uh, calcium chloride from other sources, such as pool. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe farm stores will have it as another version of ice melt in pure pellet form, but calcium chloride is what you're trying to get. You wanted to make it into a solution. Now there is still some chemical process going on. So my solution is getting there, but it's not completely done. And all I used was bottled water, the purest I could find to get by. And, you know, in an emergency situation where you don't have time to go shopping, this is hopefully something you have around your house as a bottle of water. So that's why I did it this way. Uh, ultimately, you want distilled water, but unless you have time to distill it yourself or you've already purchased distilled water, um, this is going to have to do. What we're going to make with the charcoal and the calcium chloride water is a paste. Now, I haven't done this and so what I'm going to tell you is the first thing we got to do is figure out how to mash this stuff up because we need as much charcoal powder as we can get and this may not all grind up so I'm going to try to figure out a way to get you a view of this process. Oh, I do it. And I'm not sure how hard this is going to be or if it's even possible. So bear with me. Okay. You're not going to get a very good view. Again, I'm dealing with uh, an iPad, a banister, and some makeshift items. So, we're going to try to use a spoon first. And I would even argue that two spoons together in a, in a dire situation may be the tools you need to get the done the the job done but i'm trying to do it in a bowl so that i can get as much powder as possible and i have a problem here because this charcoal is not always good it's it's versions of good so let me show you what I'm trying to get. And the other thing I'm fighting is a little bit of wind. And I'm trying to make a really fine charcoal paste. Now, I'll watch this later and may say, man, that was a terrible video. But again, I'm not trying to make the world's best production. I am in the process of trying to help people deal with a bad situation and use some information that I have 
in my random knowledge brain to help other people. So, again, I'm using a spoon and sheer force in the effort to get the majority of this charcoal busted up. Some of it's harder than the other. And it's not, and it's not busting up like it should. And you need, I'd say, for what I'm gonna do, I wanna, I wanna half a cup per one mask. Now, again, we're assuming that you're in a situation where you don't have access to um, grinders and tools and specialty items. I'm doing it the hard way to make a point that in dire situations, you may have to come up with a solution that works for you. Whether it's actually a tool that you have, or a rock and a bowl, which in this current juncture is not a bad tool for the job, to be honest, it's a little bit heavy. And I'm getting a powder trying to maintain as much of that powder as I can while I crush this. Again, wind is killer out here. But you may not have the option of going inside. So, now that is starting to look... Now let me try to get some of this without losing it and show it to everybody. That's what you want. It's a fine powder. Sticks to your fingers. So, again, trying to make charcoal powder. And I'm gonna go a step further because I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to make it into a paste. I guess if you had all the time in the world, you could scrape the charcoal from the blocks, but uh, that's not a very good option. And you see, I got it all over my hands. It's fine. It's fine. Doesn't matter in this situation. And just remember, whatever you add has to be... has to be dried so what I've added just now is going to make a paste that's what I'm trying to do is make a paste so I'm hoping that my video is helping you because we're in a hurry it's against the clock we know that we need a mask. Whatever your reason is for needing a mask, besides the basic, you want to breathe without getting sick. This is your this is your mask tutorial. So my pants are a mess. I've got calcium chloride solution on my hands. And I'm trying to show you a video. Now I'm going to continue to work this because I want to paste. And now that I've got it wet, it may help me make a paste. So I'm just going to tell you that I'm not one of those wizards that's got uh, the finished product. And I may cheat and, uh, you 
and use a little bit of uh, either solar or some other power to to help make this into a paste quicker and and get a video done for you. But so, not kidding. You need to do this if you're going to make a mask. You took charcoal and a calcium chloride solution in water that came from a purified water bottle or a water bottle that was sealed so that you had something to work with. Spoon, rock, bowl, some kind of metal rod, anything to break down the charcoal into a fine powder. I have a lot of work to do, but this is what you need to do to make charcoal paste. You need charcoal paste for the next step in the process of making a mask. And I am going to make a mask that you can make at home from some very simple items. So if you would, share the video, come back around. Um, this will most likely be tomorrow. Uh, I just don't see it going much faster than that. Uh, again, using old-fashioned methods to get this done. And, um, you know, manpower, not any kind of other survival kits. Just recap. Somewhere at a store, somewhere, if not out in your garage, is calcium chloride. One of the places you can find calcium chloride is in ice melt for your uh, sidewalks. It's also a pool supply. It comes in a salt granule pellet. That's what it looks like. Charcoal, which you're going to make into a fine powder and then add your solution that came from the bottled water and the calcium chloride being put together into the charcoal to make a paste. The paste will, will be mostly dry when you apply it to the building of your filter. Um, so just bear with me as I'm going to uh, get this video a little bit closer for you to uh, fruit. And remember, this is a filter that anybody can make at home. It's very similar to what is used in military as MOP4 gear cartridge filter, except for it's not a cartridge. And I'm going to build a mask around it. And uh, it's a limited use filter, but it might get you where you're going and home safe or away safe, whatever you're going to do. Um, so just stay tuned and I will continue to uh, make this activated charcoal paste. And once I've got an activated charcoal paste, we'll move on to the making of the mask and applying the paste to the filter elements. So uh, stay tuned, share, uh, like, whatever you want to do. It's not really about that. It's about uh, people being able to get a mask when they can't buy it. So, thanks again. Catch you later.